Welcome to my tutorial on Space Desk and how to use it to set up your G1000 glass cockpit panels from Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 onto your Android or Fire tablets. First thing we need to do is go onto the spacedesk.net website. It's very important to go here. This is where you get your server side. You have to go to the website to get it. Um, you cannot get the server side in the Play Store or the Microsoft Store. So you're going to hit Display Driver Software. Multi monitor applications for Windows. It's going to open up this automatically. Go all the way down to download and download which one you need. I have Windows 10 64 bit, so I'm going to get that. Um, I know this is an uh, issue there. I've not had any problems with the NVIDIA drivers. Um, I believe I am up to date as of today, which is um, this is kind of an old release here. Um, it's currently. December 21st to 2020. These are uh, warning on old drivers. It does work with the new ones. So I'm going to hit Windows 10 64 bit. I'm going to go ahead and download that to my desktop. And that is in there now. So I'm going to close that out. I'm going to open that to install it. It's pretty easy to install. I hit next. I'm going to accept the terms. Hit next. I'm going to change this to the area I want to put it in. Uh, make a file. For Space Desk, hit OK. Next, you're going to add an exception for the firewall so it allows it to access and hit install. It takes a couple seconds to install. Uh, it's pretty basic software, not too much you have to worry about here. It's pretty easy to set up. All right, and that is it for our computer. It's set up on here. So now we're going to go over here. Um, my taskbar is on the side. If you open up taskbar, you'll have this little Space Desk driver. So it's going to say your IP address. I'll have mine blacked out so you can't see it. You need to write that IP address down. Uh, you're going to come up here, make sure it's on on. And I also like to minimize to the tray upon closing. So I'm going to click that and make sure that's on. Now I'm going to minimize it. That side of the server is set up. That's pretty basic, pretty easy. Um, I will snip in the next section, which is going to be setting it up on the Fire tablet. I'll be right back with you. And welcome back to the second half of the video where I'm going to set this up with my Fire 7 tablet. It works the same on the 8 and 10. I've tried it on both. So I'm going to go up to my games and apps here. I'm going to go up to the search bar and I'm going to type Space Desk. Alright, we can see right here Space Desk Multi Monitor Display Extension Screen. You should see that same icon there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And there we go. If you're on an Android tablet, um, you're going to go to the Play Store and do the same thing. So this is the multi monitor display extension screen. So we can see Mirror and Extend. I'm going to go ahead and download that. Sorry for the shakiness. I'm doing this on my cell phone to split the video. All right, now it is there. We're going to go ahead and open it. All right, we're going to hit Don't Show This Again. Nothing we need to know. Now it's trying to look for something to connect to. So now on my computer, I have my computer activated. So this does have to be on Wi-Fi in order for this to work. I'm going to hit plus. I'm going to put my IP address. And I'm going to hit check on that and hit add. So my IP address is now on there. All I'm going to do is click on that IP address and it's going to set up my second display. So you can see it's the same as my other displays and it comes through. So now on this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I already have it installed on this one. So once you have it installed, right, you're going to find it on your main screen. Click on it and all you have to do is wait for the display. It'll automatically find it and click on it. So you can see I have it installed. My screens are kind of flipped around. So the next thing I'm going to do is go up to my main screen on my computer, which takes a little bit. I'm going to open up my display settings. I'm going to switch these around because I did open them in reverse order. Um, I'm also going to move them down a little bit. There we go. If you hit identify, here yeah, we should see one, oops, identify one away, two, three, and four. So we're good. We're all connected on there. All right, we'll go back to here. Now, all you have to do is open up your flight simulator. 
I have mine already open here. So once your flight simulator is open, you're gonna go ahead and let me get my cockpit up and running here. Give me one second. All right, once we get our screens up, activate my second screen. Okay, now this part, you have to hold down Alt. Um, I'll have to shoot this on the phone in a second. Um, this is not easy. So I'm gonna hold down the right Alt button, and then I'm gonna click on the panel I want. Now you can see when I hit the right Alt button, you're gonna see the little plus, um, my mouse disappeared. Okay, you should see the little plus here, and you should see that little plus come up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that panel. You see if I don't hit the Alt button, it doesn't do anything. I'm gonna try to do this with my arm on the Alt button. So I'm gonna click on it, and you can see now it has come up. Um, I'm also gonna click on my second panel, so I want both. Now both of them up. So now once you get both these up, um, if you wanna put them on two displays, you can put them on one, I like them on two. So I'm gonna hit this plus, which is gonna split my display, like so. So now I'm just gonna drag it. You're gonna see it's gonna come across into one of these displays. We're just gonna use the Windows Snap feature. I actually want it on my other display, so you can see they're actually backwards. They started about reverse, doesn't make a difference. And just snap it on there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my other one. I'm just gonna find where my mouse went, there we go. And I'm just gonna click and drag that off the screen. And you'll see that's coming over to here. And I'm gonna snap that on there. And that is it. You can't use the touch function on the screens, it doesn't work. But um, it's nice to have this in front of you because I can see everything very nice and easy. Um, and then I can touch the screen itself um, on the computer with my mouse um, to do it. But there is no mouse function on these. Um, when you come down here, there will be no mouse function. So you can see I'm clicking on it, but it doesn't have any function there. It doesn't have any touch screen function either. Um, I can use these as a touch screen. Um, so if I wanted to use this as a mouse touch screen, I can also do that. Uh, let me show you how that works. So what I'm going to do is minimize this. I'm going to get out of that app real quick. Go back down. Start up Space Desk. Again. Nope. It's already up. Sorry. Let me get rid of it. All right, let me shut down Space Desk. Let me turn it on again. I can show you some settings. You go up to the three dots on the right. There's a few settings. Um, it does let you set up your resolution, performance, quality. Um, I just have mine about three quarters of the way. I have it on low color quality, 30 FPS and 16 bit RGB. Don't need anything much more than that. I tried the higher quality, but it's really useless. Um, it doesn't give you anything better and it runs better if you're on lower quality here. Um, you can also set up the touch screen. So you have enable touch screen control, which mine is enabled. Um, and then you can do keyboard control, which I have no, if you want to do keyboard control, so you can type on your keyboard up here. Um, you can do that as well. And then you can also um, change the touchpad from absolute touch to relative touch. I'm not really sure what the difference is too much on there, um, but you can Google that and find that out. And that's pretty much it. So you can see um, I have everything rotation. You can set it up so it's auto rotation or not. I do have my auto rotation. Um, now all I do is click on this again and I'll reconnect it. And then I would have to bring back over my panel because I believe it is now going to be on, not on screen anymore. So let me bring that up. I'm going to go down with Alt. Click on my screen again. You can see it's doubled once again. I'm going to go ahead and click the plus. Bear in mind I'm trying to do this while holding a phone. Alright, now it splits. Panels, I'm going to drag this one over this screen. And I'm going to go back and drag this up to that one. And there you go. That's how easy it is. Runs perfectly as I'm doing it. Same control, same everything. Not too much lag at all. Um, not noticeable enough to cause any problems. I right, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and share. Thank you.